What's up guys, it's Ashley Bornanson here in Hollywood. Tonight we are chatting it up with the stars of the biggest action-packed remake film of the year, RoboCop. Good. So how exciting is this? This is very exciting. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm pumped. Really? Yeah. So what are you most excited for? Because he was the trainer of the RoboCop, so that's where RoboCop learned all his skills, right? In a sense, it's not like I'm teaching them the skills as much as putting them through the paces, through several types of programs, uh, and then also one big physical program in the real world where he's uh, where I pit him against me and a bunch of 208s. Wow. And this movie isn't just about action. There's a lot of different themes going on. What is the most important theme that you think viewers should really leave with? Well, you know, I'm not sure, but what... what what interested me in the script, and I mean, there's many things going on, but you know, privatization concerns me. You know, it's it's they're, you know, they're doing things that governments should be doing, and that that it's ripe with uh, uh, with the possibility of, of corruption and abuse. Mm -hmm. This movie was also very technical. I'm sure with lots of green screens. Are you a technology man yourself? Um, not really. But, you know, I just get out in there and act, where, whether it's a green screen or this or that. I mean, it's always, you know, easier to do that stuff when the, when it's all, you know, you can see it, but you, you do what you have to do, you know? Yeah, definitely. And you're in Watchmen, you played Freddy Krueger, right? Mm -hmm. So what draws you to these kinds of fascinating roles? You know, I don't know. I've just been really lucky. You know, when I read this script, Robocop, I just, I loved it. I, I really wanted to be in it. Yeah. Were there any pressures knowing it was a remake? You know, there's always those pressures, but um, you, you just go for it. You know, I think even though this is a remake and everybody really loves the, the first one, the first one's always going to be there. So, you know, it's, it's neat kind of bringing this movie into the 21st century and utilizing the CGI and the, and the, and the type of capabilities we have now. Definitely. Especially now that it is 2014. Back then it was 1987 where it couldn't relate as much to the audience, but now there's technology everywhere. How do you think this is going to really relate to the viewers? Because we're not too far from a half-robotic world right now. Exactly. And it kind of makes it even uh, more prevalent, in a sense. You know, it makes it more real. Yeah. Because I think, you know, this stuff kind of is coming. And, it, you know, hand it to the, to the first one for the, for the writers for being so prescient. Yeah. Is there anything that kind of scares you about this half-technology world and how fast the world is changing with technology. Yeah, tons of stuff scares me, and the, and then the biggest the biggest thing that scares me is the FISA courts and the NSA, and their ability to do all of this bulk collection. They're turning us into a surveillance state, and that's scary, you know. In a way, this can kind of be like a PSA. I think, like there are a lot of messages being being sent across. What do you want people to learn about the movie? I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, you, you stumped me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> what was your favorite part about filming? You know, Hollywood life would ask a profound question. <laughs> I'm a profound human being. <laughs> uh, you know, I just I just enjoyed the whole process. It was really fun working with Jose, awesome director, and the cast was great. You know, real friendly guys, and it was just it was neat being in the mix and getting out there, and, you know, getting to play. You know, seeing uh, seeing Joel in the RoboCop outfit, you know, running around in that exoskeleton suit. And um, yeah, it was a blast. Wow, that's crazy. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on the film. Have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm super stoked to see this film. When you see it, let me know what was your favorite part of the film. Leave me a comment below and like, subscribe. I'll see you later.